My wife is taking a class uh, behind me. I'm in suburban uh, southern New Jersey, uh, Cherry Hill, I believe. Uh, this industrial complex behind me, <clears throat> and I kind of walked out into the parking lot and looking at the woods at the end of it, and well, lo and behold, you can see there's a, uh, a path running down there. and it beckoned. There's an element of danger involved. That's a uh, overgrown gazebo. What the heck is back here? I can hear traffic in the distance. And up there, an overgrown loudspeaker. What is this, an internment camp with a gazebo? It's a trash dam. Soccer balls, old bottles, tennis balls. Boy, they could plug an oil gusher with all this crap. All among the reeds. Reeds must be 10 foot tall here. The path forks. This way, there's an old bridge. Can't be too old. And this way, runs down and also splits. The paths are fairly well worn here. There's the uh, duck pond off to the right and you can see the industrial buildings. Hmm, let's try the left path. A peaceful little uh, creek here. Have to watch out for snakes, I bet. And the path's back out that way. Some sort of a pagan symbol. Hmm. Bad juju. creek gets really wide here. Maybe it's dammed up ahead. Maybe we're all dammed. There's the remains of a fence in there. I just noticed it. I wonder why. There's a way through right here. Hmm. wonder what's down that little path that leads to the water. Hope I don't find a body. Jeez. I thought these plants were fairly interesting. They seem to grow upright, but they also they creep along the ground. Hmm. Wonder what they are. Don't remember seeing them in Virginia. The flora really is different here in uh, in New Jersey. Some more of them. They grow right down to the water. I think this is a hangout for ducks. Lots of duck poop around here and feathers and stuff. I guess it's ideal for them. Nice pond, sheltered somewhat. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cross anywhere. Water looks kind of murky. Got lilies growing in it. I'm back up to the main path here, if you can call it that. Oh, I wonder if that's a fruit tree. Well, there's no fruit on it.
Ooh. Once again, the flat path splits, and there's a, a bridge there. I guess that crossed the pond. Some kind of post. And then the path kind of dwindles a little, but it definitely goes through there. I think I'll take that one first. Take the left fork. It leads to a, a definitely overgrown bridge, and in the background you can see the uh, the empty factory building. Hmm. Have to be careful my footing on this one. It looks kind of old. I try to walk above the beam. What a beautiful little creek. I wonder if this creek was here originally and then they built the stuff around or when they put in the parking lots that it become a new drainage ditch or what. <laughs> Looks pretty old. Well, and all in all, I'd say it's pretty interesting back here. This is, it's quite urban. And, uh, I was <clears throat> talking with my wife about why I kind of was enjoying getting back here. And we're under kind of a, a minor pollution alert here in the whole East Coast, I think. And, and you know when you're back here, it, you just feel a little better. I think it's all the oxygen from the plants. <sighs> I think this is the other end of the duck pond in this beautiful, I guess you call that a weeping willow. Next to this old bridge. Not so old though, I mean really this is no more than a couple years old and it's already abandoned. <laughs> honkers! Honkers!